Hello and welcome to another whew, cold uh, Raggy's Bears Wines and Spirits review. Blooming heck, it's freezing in here. Temperatures are properly dro proper dropped. So today I'm going to be reviewing Fuller's Respect Your Elders. Um, part of the Fuller's and Friends, bloody hell it's cold, Fuller's and Friends box set and it's, um, these are collaboration brews, if you don't know what they are. It's sold at Waitrose, um, around about 10 or 12 quid, depends if you get it on offer or not. And it's a collaboration between Fuller's and six different breweries. And I got the box set last year, it was immense, some fantastic beers. And again, um, this is about the second or third out of that box, this year's box set. And it again, is a very good beer. Whew, it's cold in there. So it's 6%. And it's a collaboration with Tiny Webber, which I'm sure, I think is the Welsh brewer, if I remember rightly. Um, old brewery meets new brewery. And bonds over their mutual appreciation of ESB, extra special bitter. That's the story behind this beer, which gives the classic style, a contemporary tropical twist with a trip of new world hops this multi marmalade beer beautifully brightens the generation gap so it's very hard to read in this light so let me find a decent glass or at least an half decent glass right Whew. baltic today open it got up this morning looked out the window for, oh flip me uh, fro the car's frozen. I, thought, I went out five minutes earlier. Not only is it frozen on the inside, but it's frozen uh, uh, on the outside rather, and it's frozen on the inside. I thought that's a great start to the day, you know. Ten minutes to defrost a bloody windscreen. So, good amber pour, lots of carbonation and lacing, massive white head. Well, yeah. So, ESB is normally, you know, like a traditional beer. Definitely a whack of tropical in that. Whew, bloody hell. I don't want to tell you, but it's bloody freezing. Um, yeah, good day at work today. Uh, cold. Up oh, the gas lamps again. If you've ever seen Jim Carrey's um, Christmas Carol, um, when, um, you know, the animated one from 2009, when he runs down the street, you see those old gas lamps. Well, the ones where I work, on the estate I work for, Nottingham Park Estate, um, they've got these same gas lamps. And you wind them up every two weeks, and then you have to change the times and that as well. It's, it's ever so antiquated. And they don't give off a lot of light. You know, the ones in the film give off more light than the ones in real life. But uh, amazing to see, you know, this, it's it's unique to that estate, you know. I mean, it makes it a bit, it makes it a bit dark at night, but it's got, um, you know, it's a feature you just don't get these days anywhere else. Although I'm sure they could modernise them if they really wanted to. Ooh. So, straight away, a whack of tropical flavours to it. Um, I don't know how it compares to normal ESBs. I mean, the, the ESB that comes to mind for me is Fuller's, their ESB, which is a nice beer, you know, extra special bitter. Um, more or less a best bitter, really, rather than, you know, anything else in, in that. But, uh, yeah. Mm. Oh, very nice, very quaffable, you know. Um, tropical, not not hoppy. It's like a, a tropical version of beer. Bitter, really, yeah. And uh, very different. And sometimes nice as well, because not everybody wants beers that are just full on hops or some people just don't want any beers that are hops so you know this to me yeah it appears as a generation that uh, might like the ESBs and take a dabble in the world of um, you know 
the tropical tasting beers and the new wave of beers without you know um, leaving their normal territory too far very nice best cold I think as well you know it's one of them beers that's better a bit cool and it's certainly cool in there my oh, god it's seven degrees in here at the moment so yes chilly luckily I've got the gas fire in here so um, I've got it on three bars at the moment to whack it up a bit but uh, I'll soon be transferring back to the um, back to the house at this rate it, uh, it won't be long I'll start drinking all the beers and that you can drink that you don't need I think what I will do is stop um, going through like all the golden ales stuff that doesn't need to be warm uh, better drink cool like ciders and that and uh, you know and then when I go up the house take a selection of beers to the house beforehand and um, drink them at the right temperature. I mean, let's be fair, dark beers need to be drank at the proper temperature, which is, which is you know, and stouts and porters, you know, they deserve to be drank warm. Whereas lagers, ciders, golden ales, that sort of thing, uh, are all just as good drank, you know, cool. I've got that many beers and ciders that, you know, sometimes it's hard to choose um, one. And I try not to drink too many from the same brewery because, you know, you don't want to be having one from the same brewery. It, it gets boring, doesn't it? So, beautiful. Um, this Fullers and Friends box set, if you've not seen it, Get yourself online to Rage Rose. If you can afford, if you go, sh I mean, most people, I know a lot of people don't go shopping at Rage Rose because it's expensive. But say someone's going to give you, or, or your family are going to give you 60 quid for Christmas, something like that. Then Rage Rose do a thing where you spend 80, get 20 pound off, 60 quid. So you do that, you go on their site, sign in and that. And um, if, if you do that, you get your 20 quid off. And even if there's beers missing, they'll still honour that 20 quid because you made, you know, that order. That's what happened to me last year. I actually got 15. It actually went drop by 15 because of several beers missing. But it was a great way of getting beers that I've never seen before. So, you know, it's, um, I know they're not the cheapest, but if you want beers that you can't get, it's a great way. And if you've got a Retro's near you, this box set's outstanding. So, golden pour, good carbonation and lacing. I mean, look at the ad. I mean, that's ridiculous. Tropical on the pour, tropical in the taste, with a, the you know that extra special bitterness that you, you expect it to be. Um, for me, the evolution of ESB. You know, it's uh, yeah, it's something really nice. A very quaffable drink, you know, this would be something that would be great in a pub, you know, on a cascale, you know, wow. 6%, yeah, the 6% does translate, I am uh, feeling it a little, but yeah, very nice. So, followers and friends, respect your elders, yeah, well, respect the elders if they're decent to you, or not all elders are deserved to be respected, especially the grumpy old gets. Um, out of five them. Again, very nice. Ticks a lot of boxes. 4.4 .4 out of five. Not top ten material, but like I've said many times, not every beer needs to be a top ten beer. But yeah, loved it. Ooh. Oh, I enjoyed that. As you can tell. Right, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, near the 300 mark with subscribers, that's amazing. And uh, please keep liking or disliking if you don't like the videos, uh, you know. And I had a strange comment on one video last week, someone put down I look like a nonce and I thought, you dickhead, you know. And uh, yeah, that's why I got deleted and reported as well, you know. I mean, you don't mind some, some uh, comments, fair comments, you know, good or bad. 
But uh, comments like that, no, 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 no. It won't say I look like a nonce if I met him in public. <clears throat> anyway, thanks for watching. See you soon.